Hi, I'm Rob Abel. I'm the content coordinator with SC Media, and I'm here with Vincent Saritapan. He is the program manager for mobile security for research and development at the DHS Science and Technology. Vincent, how are you doing today? Great, thank you. And so, uh, why don't you tell us a little about a little bit about what you do? Sure. So, as you mentioned, I manage mobile security research. Um, our goal is really around accelerating the adoption of secure mobile technologies for the Homeland Security mission. So what does that really mean? That means we work across the federal government, in, including the DHS Enterprise, to understand what their needs are and how they use mobile technology and understanding where those gaps exist. And that's where we focus our research and development. Uh, we do it in device, application, and the new one to announce is network infrastructure. Okay, can you tell us a little bit about networking and infrastructure and uh, what that means for you guys? Sure, so in our areas we do care about mobile security and resiliency for mobile network infrastructure. So think of things like um, legacy concerns, which is SS7, diameter, uh, current protocols and legacy protocols, vulnerabilities that exist today in the, the carrier networks. Uh, we also care about things like 5G security going forward, right? 5G, the standard, was just finalized and so we're considering well what is security for that going in the future how does that play in are we addressing both old stuff and new stuff as we go forward and then the last area is really around uh, enterprise visibility of mobile network uh, mobile network traffic so when you think about your phone itself and you think about your laptop in the federal government as you can imagine we have requirements for the laptop to go through what's called the trusted internet connection uh, on a mobile device uh, you could think about well can I take all my mobile traffic and can I make it go through a VPN? You know, what's the consequences? Will the battery life die? Um, you know, will um, the, the, the back end at the data center actually be able to handle all the traffic? Right? Those are challenges today across the board that we really focus on and want to solve. All right. And uh, so uh, what brought you out to RSA today? Sure. So um, at RSA, at DHS, it's actually booth 1839 to give us a plug. Uh, we actually uh, have uh, 13 different technologies actually being demonstrated. So these are all technology ready, uh, technology for transfer. Um, so think of it as in mobile, the space, we actually have two areas, one with Red Hat. Uh, Red Hat in this case has a mobile app development platform where we're integrating security throughout that life cycle. So if you want to come see what's available there, what's available in this case, it's open source. Um, you, can, you can even find a lot of the code base on GitHub available to the public. So when you develop a mobile app, we want to make sure it's secure, it's based off of you know, security templates or government standards as in the National Information Assurance Partnership uh, Protection Profile. And then the second one we actually have is around um, endpoint security. So you have a mobile device, Right? You know, how do you protect it? Think of it in the old sense of your computer has a, an AV of some sort, endpoint security. We're looking at that for mobile devices. And specifically, uh, we've worked with Lookout is the company, and it's actually around for the enterprise visibility of vulnerability management and uh, app risky behavior. Okay, and uh, what are some of the biggest threats you've seen when you are looking at all this technology? Sure, so we're actually concerned, in, as we have uh, three areas of our program, we're concerned in all three areas. And I'll say that, you know, it's everything from the device security, so think about firmware. Um, well, is there anything in the part of the supply chain of the phone I buy at a, a retail store right, or online that might be vulnerable, might have malware, malicious behavior, but it's a part of the supply chain itself. Um, firmware security and, and device security on a chip, that's a concern, that's an area we want to focus in. Another one for application, as we mentioned, is you know you can have some kind of phishing campaign, you download an app you don't, you're not supposed to, and it puts your device at risk, or maybe you develop an app for your business, right, and you understand that, hey, I might be at risk, those are concerns. And the last one, like I mentioned, network, network infrastructure, is really around, well, some of these long-standing problems, harder ones around, well, you know, what about the core network on 3G, 5G, you know, 4G, all of those aspects of security that, that are involved, things we already know about in the public, and even to the things of, you know, stingrays and IMSI catchers, right? Can, is, is there a rogue base station out there that's listening in on my phone calls, right? Routing all my traffic. That's a concern for us, too. Um, an area where we would like to apply research. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Once again, I'm Rob Abel, content coordinator with SC Media.